My name is Aaron or AJ Markle, and I'm talking about what if EA Sports was still doing baseball today under an MLB license? So in order to get started, let's talk about the big game, MVP Baseball 2005, arguably the best baseball game of all time and one of the best baseball games of all time. How did it change baseball video games though is the question you might be wondering because it paved the way for how it's designed today like games, franchise mode, and even create your own stadium, finally, for people who've been waiting for a long time, and even legends, stadiums, and even uniforms. Some of those features are still around today in the newer games, but you have to credit MVP Baseball 2005 for it. The problem is that you notice that there's no MVP Baseball 2006 unless it's the college game. Well, EA Sports got greedy and decided to focus on another sport, which is NFL football, by buying the license, completely monopolizing the video game aspect of football, and they end up losing the license to 2K, which allowed some people and companies to join the MLB license. And one of those companies, San Diego Studios, the same company that created MLB The Show. Now, both MVP Baseball and MLB The Show have similar features, franchise mode, stadiums, even uniforms and players. The unfortunate thing is though, MLB The Show has dominated the baseball video game due to up-to-date graphics, up-to-date features, including online play, legendary players, and even Diamond Dynasty, which is part of online play. Now, I'm sure you've gotten to this point now, like what's the main topic? Let's get to it. The main topic is what if EA Sports did not make the mistakes today and they still were releasing baseball video games today? The answer is simple. They would be working hard against the competition. Like better mini games, for example. They probably would do a lot more mini games to keep people interested, which also will include Home Run Derby, which has been around since High Heat Baseball which is an old game, by the way. I played it on PC. If you have an old Windows 98 computer or old game computer that ha can handle high heat baseball, you should get it. And also, because MLB The Show has franchise mode, so does MVP Baseball, there will be more competition on that too. But what really stands out from MLB The Show is Road to the Show. Road to the Show is a game mode by MLB The Show where you could create your own player, choose a team or get drafted, and try to make them the best player of all time, starting from the minors all the way to the big leagues. Since they never had that MVP Baseball 2005, I can understand why people would want to choose that. But if it was around today, and people were still using MVP Baseball in the modern era, they would have their own version of Road to the Show, and I personally would call it be the MVP where you can do the same thing and since MVP baseball has the Miley's all the way to single a it would make sense they would do that now today there is the Dominican Republic League the Arizona League low a double a high a all sorts of minor league levels of play today so it wouldn't surprise me that if EA decided to go that deep since they went that deep in EA Sports MVP Baseball 2005. It would make sense they would do something like that. The other thing that would be a big thing if EA Sports was still around today, they would do a better ownership mode. Ownership mode in EA Sports is basically a mode where you are the owner that takes control of the stadium. That's right, you create your own stadium and you get to control the prices and you get to build your stadium from the ground up from 20,000 people to over 50,000. That is the goal that I'm hoping to get on my channel, which also has ownership mode, which I'm still doing from time to time, but it takes a lot of editing. The other thing that would probably be improved on though would be to make it easier to get the stadium and make it easy for owners in the game to probably make more money. The other thing that is noted in MVP Baseball is their legends and Hall of Fame stadiums. 
in MLB The Show, you have to buy the stadiums, I noticed. And you can still get the uniforms and legendary players, but you gotta play the game and get points to do it. Then again, though, that's why there's studs or in-app purchases or online buying if you want to get those. One of the things that MVP Baseball does, you have to have points to buy things like stadiums, uniforms, and players. I have a few ideas of what I want to add, which some would include like the legendary Ebbets Fields, for example. And I have more uniforms, like even the Ranger uniforms when they first played, and even show uniforms of past teams. Even uniforms you don't see very much at all. Like, I would not mind seeing more the Florida Marlins uniforms, which I know they're called the Miami Marlins today, but I wouldn't mind seeing that. I think there will be a lot more uniforms. And most importantly, legends. Legends include Hall of Famers and other guys that played baseball many years ago, like Josh Gibson back in the Negro Leagues, or even and see the legendary Satchel Paige, Hank Aaron, and if Barry Bonds was okay with it, Barry Bonds. Controversial take, but it would depend. And the list can go on. In the end, though, I think there should be more added. And now we're going to get to the business aspect that I'm going to break down a little bit real quick. The problem is that if you monopolize an entire genre of sport, it's almost like you don't need to improve on a lot unless you had some motivation, like competition. And since there's a lot of competition today in baseball, even though MLB show is pretty much dominating, it would make sense, though, if there was more MLB baseball video games in the modern era today. And if EA Sports was still involved in doing this, MLB The Show, which is done by San Diego Studios, would have a run for their money. It would make a lot of sense that way. The other thing that's important is that MVP Baseball 2005 to this day paved the way for these baseball video games today. So whenever you're playing a baseball video game like MLB The Show or even other older games that like 2K, be sure to tip your cap to EA Sports for paving the way for baseball video games today. So, what do you think? What do you think EA Sports would be doing if they still had the MLB lights today? Comment below, I'd like to hear your thoughts, and I hope you guys love this video. I might do more, including about EA Sports and Madden. Anyway, signing off for now, this is AJ Marvel signing off. God bless, you rock, don't forget it.